Ain't no one of y'all baby gonna come back here. It is hard to imagine a toddler all alone ending up dead in a shallow stream within shouting distance of the street. We're about 50 yards away from the house where 15 month old Elijah lived with his family. He was being watched by a caregiver. Police say that she went inside and he made his way back here through this overgrown area on top of all these dead leaves. And here it is. You can see the water down this slope. This is where they found his body. According to police sources, the caregiver says she went inside the house to use the bathroom, leaving the toddler outside with siblings and other neighborhood kids. After 20 to 30 minutes of searching, neighbors said the boy's stepfather found him, tried CPR, but could not revive the child. Residents on Terry Brook Lane say this is a tragedy that's been waiting to happen. Many didn't even know the stream was here, stagnant water hidden behind such treacherous conditions. Now that you've, now that you've seen it, I mean, what, what do you think about this? It's, it's, it needs to be blocked off. I mean, there's no security for any kids, anything. It's, it's not secure. It's not safe. We searched the Mecklenburg County property records. They show that this home and several others on this block are owned by John and Vanessa Graves. We found several code enforcement violations for the address in the last few years. People we talked to in the neighborhood say they have taken these landlords to court before trying to improve their living conditions. I didn't even want to talk about the, the maintenance around here or the, uh, who owns this place because this should have known about this. This is it's a safety issue. 